Warning! Unidentified spacecrafts approaching. Hull strength? Critical. Shield strength? 100%. Collision? ETA. One minute. Engaging systems. Huh? Where am I? What happened? Oh, my head. Focus, Karika. You are in a battle cruiser class capital ship. Hostiles are approaching. If you don't focus, we'll both spend eternity in dead space. Me? I... I can't pilot this thing. Sure you can. You are an S-class pilot. You just suffered moderate head trauma. I did my best to minimize brain damage. You only have temporary memory loss. I'll try to re-upload your basic pilot training. Re-upload? Who are you? Where are you? I am Lisa. Acronym for Logistics Interface Strategic Analyzer. An AI implanted in your brain as part of your cyborg training routine. Cyborg? What? Upload is almost complete. We'll talk after we have secured our survival. Prepare for engagement. Tap the blue button to accelerate. To decelerate, tap the blue button again. Use the joystick on your left to rotate your ship. To engage your weapons, tap the A button. Tap the A button again if you wish to stop firing. The blue meter indicates your shields. When the shields go down, the ship's hull starts taking damage. Shields regenerate at a constant rate. If you take on too much shield damage, distance your ship from enemy fire to allow them to regenerate. The red meter indicates your ship's hull strength. Do us a favor and keep that meter up, will you? If you fancy breathing, that is. The yellow meter indicates your current speed. You can determine how fast your ship accelerates based on the rate of its increase. We'll cover the green meter if we survive this encounter. This ship has no active electronics, so the energy meter is useless for you right now. I see you're doing just fine on your own. Engage in standby mode.
warning. Sensors indicate a large mass approaching. Type indicated as capsule class mothership. Survivability chance 2%. This is bad. We cannot engage. It's way out of our league. Incoming transmission. There's nowhere to run, little rabbit. I got you now. Your little insurgency ends here. We are locked down. The mothership is recharging her batteries. Ooh, peace. We're getting the hell out of here. Engaging hyperdrive. Are you insane? Without valid coordinates, we won't make the jump alive. Better than waiting here to get blasted into oblivion. over here. All right, bring it in. This is one lucky bastard. I cannot catch a break. Third Fleet, Second Division, Sergeant Vladimir Kirov at your service, Captain. At ease, Sergeant. How do you know that I'm a captain? Your uniform, Captain. It bears your ranking and the Imperial badge. <clears throat> oh, good. What can you tell me about this place? How did I get here? One of our mining vessels spotted your ship's debris. It was pure luck that they found you just in time. As soon as you were identified as an Imperial officer, you were immediately put under medical care until you recovered. So you came to check up on my recovery? Yes, ma'am. And to relay a message. Since no further identification has been made possible except your rank and allegiance, the Imperial Embassy in our station has requested a formal debriefing. Send him away. 
We need to carefully plan our next move. Very well. You're dismissed, Sergeant. What are you thinking? The mothership, the one that attacked us? It had Imperial insignia. Yet this sergeant says that you are an Imperial officer. Things don't add up. Then this meeting with the Imperial Embassy is a meeting we can afford to miss. If whoever's hunting me has access to Mothership-class Imperial warships, then he can trace any official dealings I make with the Empire. I cannot afford to be caught. Not before I rem- My thoughts exactly. What do you think our next move should be? We need to be on the move. The longer we sit in one spot, the easier it is for them to find us. Check your account savings. Do you have any money? About a hundred thousand credits. Why do you ask? I don't think we jumped very far during our previous encounter with the Mothership. Which means that they must still be nearby. By staying here, we put ourselves and the people of this station in grave danger. We need to get us a ship and move out. Let's go to the hangar store and see what they have in stock. Frigate class ship that we can afford. Frigates are fast and agile. Perfect for escaping trouble. Buy it. Good. Now let's go back to the hangar to activate our ship. A very important thing to remember is that you need your ship activated in order to access any other part of the hangar. Anything you buy from the store is immediately transferred to your activated ship's cargo room. If you need to move items from one ship to another, you can do so by first moving the desired items to the station storage. Finally, anything you wish to equip to your activated ship needs to be placed in your ship's cargo room. You cannot just equip items straight from the storage. Now, let's go back to the store and buy a few upgrades for our new ship. Our ship only has one slot, so we can only fit one weapon. Buy a Gatling gun. We will also need electronic components. Unfortunately, this frigate model only has one electronic slot. I suggest getting a passive radar. It does not cost energy to use and it will alert us if the mothership approaches. Note that other electronic slots may drain your ship's energy when used. The green bar I told you I would let you know about in the future. This ship is a defensive frigate and sports three defense slots. However, we cannot afford any. Keep in mind, in case you make more money in the future, to upgrade its defenses. Now let's go back to the hangar to place our new components on our frigate. Simply tap each slot and select the corresponding component. Finally, we need to set up our primitives. Primitives are extremely important and they are what separates normal human pilots from cyborg pilots. Go to the primitives submenu. The primitive system is the ship interface software installed in your brain. Primitives show up as buttons on your screen when you fly your ship, labelled A, 
B, C, D, and E. What each button does when activated depends on what you assign to it from this sub-menu. A button, which from now on we will call primitive, can do up to five tasks at the same time. Each of these tasks, called directives, reference a situation and a result. For example, you might want to fire missiles only when your target ship has more than a specific amount of hit points, so you don't waste ammunition on easier to kill targets. The situation is the check to see how many hit points your target has, and the result is the activation of your missiles. A carefully planned primitive arrangement is paramount to the success of any given mission, and this makes cyborgs considerably more skilled pilots than normal humans, since one cyborg and its primitives can single-handedly perform actions that normally require an entire flight crew. Currently, you only have Primitive A and Directive A unlocked in your ship interface software, which limits our options in Primitive Arrangement. By gaining experience, you can unlock more primitives, directives, and situational instructions. But we'll cover that when the time comes. For now, let's just make this frigate fire its Gatling gun, okay? Tap Primitive A and then Directive A to enter the Directive's situational data. As situation, select always and as result select activate all weapon slots if you want to be precise select activate weapon slot one both will have the same result since our current ship has only one weapon slot From now on, whenever you tap the A button in flight, the frigate will fire its Gatling gun, or whatever weapon you may equip on it in the future. One last thing before we wrap this up. Each ship has its own primitive arrangement, and I keep a backup of every arrangement in your memory banks. Even if you change a ship and later go back to this one, the current primitive will still be in place. I have uploaded additional information about fitting, components and primitives in your data log, which you can access from your quarters anytime you wish. For now, we're ready to leave the station. Exit the station and go to the acceleration gate so we can get out of this sector. Anticipate that. What are we going to do? Let me take care of this. Repeat after me. Roger that command. 
This is Frigate Sierra 890 X ray 2000 requesting authorization to jump to Neptune. That is a negative, Sierra 890. We don't have you registered in our data banks. I cannot authorize the jump. Please, distance yourself from the gate. It was worth a shot. What now? I have an idea. I'm heading back to the station. Maybe Sergeant Kirov can give me clearance to jump. Sergeant Kirov, just the man I wanted to see. Yes, Captain. Command does not give me clearance to jump. What needs to be done to get the paperwork moving? I can try to help you, but it won't be enough. You need to help out as well. Explain yourself, Sergeant. Oh, no, no. Nothing like a bribe. You misunderstood, Captain. You are an MIA Imperial officer. Under normal circumstances, unless you register yourself, you cannot be trusted to use the acceleration gate system. However, Frontier Combine does not work like the Empire. In our sectors, trust is gained by deeds, not rank or position. I can speed up the paperwork, but you will have to gain the Combine's trust. And how do I do that? You need to improve your standing with the Combine. Help out with Combine problems. Hmm. God knows we have enough of those. So where do I start? I will forward a few Combine high-ups to your email. They will tell you what needs to be done. Check your contacts log in your quarters. In the meantime, I will start pushing your paperwork. Once you are clear to jump, I will contact you. Thank you, Sergeant. Good luck, Captain. <laughs>